Hello there, I'm Martin D. Donovan. Glad to be back here and another tutorial with the WebStation Mixer. Now, uh, I did promise uh, when I finally get the mixer all set up, I will go through um, how you set it up and I'm going to do that very slowly. I'm trying to produce very short videos for you, uh, which don't take up too much of your time, but it gives you the information that you're looking for. So we have to set a few boundaries. First of all, over here on this screen over here, um, you can see Playout One. That's the radio station automation software uh, that's playing out to the world. This one is only used for testing purposes, but that, that will be what it is. Over here, the clock up in the top corner over here is um, the audio routing. Um, as it goes out to the studio. That's there just visually for me to have a look at. But down here is the mixer. And we're going to run on the fact that you've just bought the mixer, you've just plugged the mixer in, and you've connected the USB lead to your computer. That's the stage we are at. So the first thing we need to do is we need to, uh, we have to figure out that these faders, what we would normally call faders, are referred to by DNR as modules, okay? Um, so there will be a view, those of you who say they're not faders, Marty, they're modules. I fully understand, but just for the sake of old schoolism, I'm going to call them faders, okay? Right, so each fader has its own sound card, okay? That's a sound card, that's a sound card, that's a sound card. So what basically happens is, if we go over to the Playout 1 screen up there, um, over here, you can see down here are some, uh, some cart machines, and the song would go from here to over there, and then over there, it will go down here and uh, start playing. And if the volume here which is on volume one, two, three, was to go up. You could hear that. I can't play it too long. YouTube don't like me playing music. So volume one, two, three. That's where the music is, and that's what's playing down here. Now, you'll see that this isn't set up perfectly, but it's set up enough just to show these demonstrations. So the first thing we need to do is find out what sound card is designated to what module stroke fader okay just let me stop that music so we need to come over to our sound on our settings okay um and we're going to come over to where where it says sound okay we're going to go to system and then we're going to come to sound okay and here is sound so over here you can see um this is where your 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 sound cards are and your volumes done and so on and so forth. If we go manage sound devices, we can see here um, that each one has its own name. This one's called Channel Five PC Volume. This one's called Channel Three. Uh, this one's called PC Speakers and so on and so on. That's because I've named them. Okay, I'll show you how to rename them a little bit later. So get yourself. A pen and a piece of paper start at the top. Now, if you look, although I've called it Channel 5 PC Volume, its actual name is 9 USB Codec. Okay, that's what it is. That's what it is named on this mixer. 9 USB Codec. Now, I had to find out where that first one starts to play. And you could do that by this test button down here. If I do that there's no sound if i press the test button there's no sound so if i turn the faders up bit by bit uh, and click the button there's no sound uh, and and so on and so forth okay um but there is there you see that so i know that this sound card here is on that module okay so once I know that, on my piece of paper, I write 9 USD, USB audio codec uh, is on fader 5. That's cool. I'll go down to the next one. Remember this one? This is the one that the music was playing at because it says channel 3. So if I turn up channel 3 um, and click test, I can see that channel 3 is there. If I turn up channel 4 and click test, there's no sound. Okay, channel 3. So in my, on my piece of paper, I write down 7 USB codec channel 3. And I go through each one. 
Once that's done, I come back over here to the main settings and I go to the first one here and say device properties, click rename and in there I just call it whatever I want. So I look at my list, my list will say um, that it's, uh, it's channel 5 so I call it channel 5 and then uh, I, once that's done I come out and go to the next one and then the next one and the next one until I've named all of my faders stroke modules what they are. So I now know what's what. So then when I go back into Playout 1 or whatever Playout software you're using at the time, you will be able to tell it where to play things. So look here, look on the list now. It says Player 1, Player 2, Player 3 and Player 4. So we got 1, 2, 3 and 4 down the bottom here. And it says they all play through channel three except channel player four that plays through channel four okay so i know channel three is going to play each one of those three faders okay and then channel four will need this fader to come up and i'll tell you why that's done like that because down here uh, where it says quick key device channel four quick key device channel 4 although it says 8 USB codec I've already called it channel 4 because it's over here on channel 4 over here well that is if I bring my quick keys up um, I need to shut this off if I bring my quick keys up uh, and play the quick keys then um, then what that will do is that will play <laughs> notice that's on volume there <laughs> and my quick keys I have programmed over here on the control section as well, uh, which uh, has its own video all the same. So let's go through it as a process. Number one, one, he says, um, you plug in and you connect up. So you're all connected. You're ready to go. Number two, go into your settings. Look at what the uh, look what the new sound cards are called find out which channel that sound card is playing to and rename it to that that channel then once you know what the channels are on here and what the sounds are on here you could then go into your settings of your playout software and tell it cart one two three four five whichever all go through channel three uh, so the way i have it is all the all the music audio of the show goes through channel three okay all the jingles sweep and sweepers and little bits and bobs that I have which are external um, or away from the music and that <laughs> bit like that uh, all go through channel four uh, the PC itself if I'm if I had to play a piece of audio uh, from directly from the internet or on the computer, um, that will come through uh, channel 5. And then channel 6 is strictly for VoIP, V-O-I-P, Voice Over Internet Protocol, which means two-way talking, three-way talking, four-way talking. It's all handled by the VoIP system in the mixer, which controls uh, the feedback levels, at the latency, and uh, the delays that problems you normally get. You can connect and disconnect from people via the mixer as well should you want to or of course use your stream deck to do pretty much the same thing uh so so there you go that is how you set your sound cards up on your web station mixer if you have a question let me know in the comments and i'll answer that to you if you are a web station user well done well join in the join in the group uh that's great and uh don't forget to keep it live and keep it real and i will be back with another tutorial to show you how to get by in this world of radio that we live in okay i am the broadcast ninja and i am out of here i think that's long enough for any video don't you bye for now